This is Inkjoy, and it's an incredible e-ink display that looks like a painting. I love it. There's some interesting stuff that the app that goes along with this can do that others can't, and I'm excited to dive into that today. Special thanks to Inkjoy for sending this over for review and for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself or learn more, links in the description, and we'll try to get you all a discount code. So, what is it? It's a color e-paper frame that uses e-ink Spectra 6 and their ISFR technology to make your art and photos look like they're printed on a matte fine art paper instead of some sort of screen. I know for a lot of our grandparents and stuff out there, we get them these like tiny little TVs basically that can show pictures of the kids. This just looks a little more appealing. There's no light emitting from this. It's just an e-ink display. So the light that you're seeing is bouncing off of the natural ambient light in the room, which makes it feel all the more real. I mentioned it briefly just a second ago, but there's some cool stuff in the app here that I think sort of makes this stand out among the rest in this sort of market. Right, as always, let's talk about the form. The overall aesthetic is very simple. I mean, from across the room, hanging up on a wall, it just looks like a printed picture or painting. There's no cable, very simple here on the back, and you can actually change up the frames if you'd like to. It comes in a few different sizes, which you can check out again at the link down below, so you can sort of fit it to your liking. More of the tech is sort of hidden behind the mat here, and then you do have this nice, this one has sort of like a gold brass finish, which I think looks nice and elegant. So let's talk about some of the functionality, because obviously like this right now is just a picture, and that's sort of the idea here. It doesn't really use any energy unless you're changing or updating the photo. So if I were to just leave this here, it would last technically forever. That's just sort of the, the wonder of e-ink technology. So you really don't have to charge it that often at all. So a big part of this, as I mentioned before, is the app, which you can do simple things, just like sending a simple photo to this. You can set up different things to happen at different parts of the day, like a schedule, or you can have it rotating through images. In the app's explore section, you can check out, you know, modern or classic artworks and paintings that you can display here. Or you can head over to the personal tab, which is where you upload your own photos, maybe your own designs, maybe your own pictures of family and friends. And there's even an artist tab, which shows work from independent artists. Okay, this is where where it kind of stands out. So there's many apps within the app that are different things you could display here, which I actually really love. You can do things like countdowns to birthdays or, or a holiday, reminders, news snippet, snippets. They even have like a phases of the moon. So talking about battery, as I mentioned before, you're not thinking like, do I need to charge this every couple days? You're actually thinking months and years depending on how often the screen refreshes. So if you refresh maybe once a day, you could probably get through a year or two with this. If you're doing even less, maybe you change it every week. I mean, this thing will last quite a long time. Now, if five, six, 10 times a day you're changing what's on here, obviously it's gonna run the battery out a little bit faster, but even still, it just doesn't use a lot of energy, a lot of power. So you're not gonna have to charge this thing as much as you do your smartphone, that's for sure. I do think this is this is kind of neat. It's one of those pieces of tech that's cool and innovative, but it's one of those set it and forget it, right? Like I can set it up to change a photo every day and just kind of not worry about it. Maybe every morning I walk into the studio here and I'm like, oh, that's a cool painting. I don't really have to worry about it too much, but it's, it's nice and it brings joy. And I think that's one of the cool pieces about tech like this that sort of sits in the background and kind of works its magic behind the scenes. Right, so who do I think this is for? I definitely think anyone who has like, nice family pictures that they want to change out every now and then. Maybe your kids bring home hand-drawn images and you, you take pictures of them with your phone. You could have those rotating through here, which could be neat. Maybe you do have an elderly grandparent, you go and visit them. You don't have to worry about them charging this thing up, right? But you could set some family pictures on here and it would rotate through them throughout the day, which is nice. Very hands-free, they don't have to worry about it. It just does its own thing. I think if you like fine art as well, or maybe you are like some sort of artist or digital artist and you want to display your art here without having to go to the printer, this is a really neat way of doing it. It's not going to be perfectly aligned with like an actual print, but it's pretty darn close. And I think that's great. I think it's a good conversation starter. Mostly if people see it changing photos while they're looking at it, if not, they're just going to think it's a regular photo, which I think is a brilliant thing. But if you're looking for something a little more flashy, this might not do it for you. But when a friend comes over, just go ahead and change the image on there and show it off. I think it's pretty cool. It can obviously do like landscape photos as well. You're not beholden to portrait. I like the portrait la like layout better as a personal preference, but there's a lot of landscape photography and paintings that I like as well. 
and it's as easy as just literally turning the frame sideways, setting the setting in the app and going from there. As I mentioned earlier, I definitely think the biggest strength with this product specifically from Inkjoy is the app capabilities. And it looks like they have some coming soon features to those mini apps as well. So I would hope they would continue to come out with new sort of widgets and like these mini apps as they call them that do different things, which would be super fun. And it just adds a bit more functionality and use out of this rather than again, just a simple photo frame. But hey, if that's all you're looking for, this does that too. And I do think it's worth your money. Thanks so much to Enjoy for sending this out. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Subscribe if you're new. On this channel, we talk about tech that marries form and function. We like tech that improves our lives and looks good while doing so. So if that sounds cool to you, please subscribe. Also, our website is down below. That is also our newsletter where we house some of our favorite products. Make sure to check that out. Again, links to Inkjoy's photo frame are down in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.